So you watch a multiple time frame analysis video on YouTube and you are convinced that multiple time frame analysis is a great way to trade and is something that you should be doing into your trading analysis. But what do you do when your multiple time frame analysis is in conflict? Meaning that the day chart tells you to buy and the H4 chart tells you to sell and your H1 chart tells you to buy. So what do you do in this kind of instances? Now in this video, I will address that question, what you should be doing. And if you stay to the end, I want to show you a bonus tip to find the best momentum trades. Basically, how do you align the multiple time frames to find momentum trades which can move in a huge manner and yet have a very tight stop loss. So only if you stick to the end, I have that prepared just for you. So what is the problem? Now the problem is that a lot of you traders, you watch a video such as you know the one we created, um, this multiple time frame trading strategies, you know, you want to implement uh, this into your trading. But what happens is that uh, you do not know how to seamlessly analyze your charts such that the H4, H1 and uh, you know maybe the M15, basically the multiple time frames align in the same direction and you have a holistic analysis. So what happens is that a lot of you are confused and today I want to help you, uh, you know, get over this. I want to show you some guidelines to help you to actually implement this multiple time frame analysis into your trading effectively. Now, by the way, if you're new to this channel, right, please give us a thumbs up. Okay, we are on a mission to impact 100,000 traders. So we would really appreciate it if you know you give us a thumbs up, you like this video and um, you just leave a comment down below. We also have a free day trading guide for you. So make sure you download that if you have not downloaded it. Okay, it's free. There's no catch, uh, no credit cards required. So this is the problem that uh, we see a lot of new traders make. So um, what happens is that you are on the day Okay, you, you are on the day. In this case, uh, we are looking at silver. You're on the day and in the day, day chart, it looks bullish because you have a swing high, you have a swing low, you have a swing higher high, you have a higher low, you have a higher high, higher low. So, uh, you know, you want to buy. But uh, when you drill down to the H4 chart, which is over here, same chart, except that uh, you are in one time frame lower, which is the H4. Uh, you kind of see that uh, this one looks a bit like a downtrend because you have a low here, you have a high, you have a lower low. In fact, you can see that this one looks like a, a left shoulder, this one looks like the head, and this one looks like a potential right shoulder. So it's very confusing because in the day chart, it's telling you to buy. In the H4 chart, it's telling you to sell. So you're a bit confused. Okay, so this is very normal in trading. Uh, you do not always get opportunities which are very clear. You will have a lot of circumstances like this, whereby the higher time frame is going to say one thing, the lower time frame is going to say another thing. And if you're using another intermediary time frame, maybe such as the uh, H8, you know, or depends on what whatever combination you're using, it, it says another thing. So this is a very normal part of trading. So if you know you encounter this, uh, do not you know do not. Be worried because it's really very normal and this video will show you how to uh, get over it so what is the solution right this is why you watch this video today uh the solution if you really want me to be blunt the solution is to stay out the best thing that you can do is that you should stay out because your highest probability trade is going to be when the higher time frame aligns with the lower time frame everything aligns it all stars are aligned you're going to have the highest probability trades Okay, think of it this way. If the daily is it's uh, bullish, that means people who are trading on the day charts are going to be buying. If the H4 is bullish as well, that means that the people who are trading the H4 are also going to be buying. And if you say you go to the H1 and the H1 is bullish as well, that would mean that the H1 traders are also going to buy. So in this kind of scenario, that is where you find your highest probability trades because all three time frame, whoever who trades those time frames are going to be buying. So these are the kind of trades that you want to take. So in short, the solution is actually to stay out. But you know, I, I know you guys because uh, I myself, I'm like that sometimes, right? Uh, sometimes you just can't help yourself. <laughs> you just want to trade. You, you know, you, you, you're bored to death. You really want, want to trade. So I totally understand that. So 
if you really must trade, then here are some guidelines I have for you. The first thing you want to do is you want to stick to the higher time frame. Okay, after this, I will show you an example. But what do I mean by stick to the higher time frame? So let's say that you have a daily chart. Okay, let me just draw it out uh, just in, so that's clearer. Let's say you are trading off the daily chart and you are trading off the H4 chart. Okay, and the daily chart is telling you that it is bearish and the H4 is telling you that it's bullish. So which should you follow? As a general rule of thumb, if you really must trade and you have this kind of scenario, then the best thing that you can do is to stick to the higher time frame, which is stick to this. And it should be logical because the daytime daily chart is going to have bigger movement and it's going to be a, a bigger pattern. So when that happens, the day chart is more reliable than H4 chart. So in this case, you want to lean towards the higher time frame. So if let's say you really must trade in this scenario over here, you want to be looking for selling opportunities rather than uh, buying opportunities. So that's the first uh, rule of thumb I have for you. Okay, basically the higher time frame always takes precedence over lower time frame. The second one I have for you is that um, you always want to concentrate on the bigger patterns. So basically the bigger patterns take precedence over smaller patterns. So what do I mean? Let's say you have a chart and you have a chart that uh, is doing a double bottom. After this, I will go through some charts. So uh, hopefully that will be clearer. So let's say you have a double bottom here. Okay, pardon the drawing. Let's say this is the day chart and there is a double bottom here. And at this, this level, the double bottom is broken and price uh, comes here and does a, you know, inverted, sorry, do a head and shoulder pattern over here in the lower time frame. Over here is having a head and shoulders pattern in the H4 time frame. In this case, you should focus on the double bottom and not the head and shoulders because the bigger pattern always takes precedence over smaller pattern. So it's not just a matter of time frame, but this is so the pattern. If the pattern is bigger, you want to pay attention to that pattern. So let me go into some charts uh, just so that you can really understand this. So over here, we are looking back at the same uh, gold, uh, sorry, silver chart. So earlier on, the first rule of time that we have here is that uh, you want to stick to the higher time frame. So as mentioned just now, this uh, daily chart over here is in an uptrend because you have a high, you have a low, you have a higher high, and you have a higher low. So this one is uptrend. Okay, and this one over here, this is actually a H4 chart. Um, sorry about the uh, overlap, but this is a H4 chart. And you can see that uh, this is a low, this is a high, this is a lower low. So this one is kind of like a downtrend. Let me just draw it. So this is a downtrend. So in this case, following the rule of thumb that I've established for you earlier on, you want to stick to trading the uptrend. You want to be sticking to this chart. You want to be looking for trade setups to long rather than to short. This is respecting the rule of the higher time frame. So make sure uh, you understand this because uh, this is really simple to apply. Just stick to the higher time frame whenever you are confused. Not too difficult. The other one that I have for you is a bit more confusing. So make sure you know you rewatch this part of the video if you are a bit confused. So the second rule of thumb that I have for you is that uh, you want to follow the bigger patterns compared to the smaller pattern. So in this example, we have the Euro pound uh, daily chart and you can see that there is a bo double bottom pattern here. So you have uh, the first bottom, you have the second bottom and you have the neckline somewhere here at uh, this level of um, this level here of 0 0.88289. So what happens is that uh, this candle over here broke the neckline. So on the daily chart, it broke a big double bottom pattern. But if you go to the lower time frame, which is uh, over here, this over here is actually the structure of uh, the market over here. Okay, let me just uh, clear everything and then uh, just redraw it so that it's clearer. I want to make sure that uh, you really understand this. So basically this, this portion over here, this portion here, okay, uh, is actually over here. It actually corresponds to this part of the uh, daily chart. So you can see in the H4 chart, there's actually kind of like a double top pattern. Uh, first top here, 
second top here. So in this case, because the bigger time frame, it's uh, having a double bottom pattern that has been confirmed, the neckline has been broken, you want to lean towards this and not this. Okay, so two, two, two main reasons. Number one is that uh, it's a bigger pattern. So you can see that this entire pattern is bigger compared to this pattern. This is a small pattern. This is a big pattern. And number two is because this is a higher time frame. This is the daily time frame. This is the H4 time frame. So this is the reason why you want to focus on uh, this instead. You want to be focusing on buying rather than to sell uh, when you see this uh, double top pattern. So hopefully that is clear. If anything is not clear, just leave a comment down below. We love to help you. You know, if you struggle with uh, this uh, multiple time frame analysis, uh, just leave a comment down below because this is a very powerful concept. In fact, in our other video, we strongly advocate that you use uh, multiple time frame analysis because it uh, drastically increases your win rate as well as your uh, average uh, reward to risk ratio. Okay, so if you have not watched that video, I will leave a link at the top right of this video so you can check that out because uh, you really need to be applying a multiple time frame analysis. Okay, but just make sure that you apply it correctly. Uh, because the worst thing you can do is you just take whatever we shared and you take, take it out of, context, out of context and you apply it wrongly. So hopefully this video helps you uh, with that. So now let's go on to the last part of today's video. So hopefully you are still around. I want to share with you uh, the bonus tip to find the best momentum trades. Okay, I'll go through the so-called theory first. Then I'll transition to the live charts to show you an example. Uh, in fact, it's an, a trade that we took earlier this morning. So how do you find the best momentum trade? Uh, the answer is very simple. You want to make sure that the multiple time frame candles are bullish or bearish. Let me explain. Now, let's say if you are trading the weekly, daily and H4 time frames, let's say your uh, multiple time frame analysis consists of the weekly, daily and H4, then you want to make sure that uh, when you are buying, uh, the weekly candle is bullish. You also want to ensure that the the daily candles is so bullish at the same time. Okay, so you need both candles to be bullish. Then you look for your entry in H4. And of course, your H4 candle must be bullish because you want to find the best momentum trades. Now, think of it this way. Earlier on at the start of this video, I mentioned your best trades are going to be when the weekly traders are buying, the daily traders also see a buy and the hedge four traders also see, a, see the buy. So that will be how you find the best momentum trade. Okay, so logically it's very simple to understand because if the weekly traders are buying, uh, the daily traders are buying, the hedge four traders are buying, the movement is going to be big because a, a, a weekly candle is, is very big. So if you're trading a hedge four time frame and you catch a nice a bullish weekly candle, you're going to make a lot of money. So this is uh, the purpose of aligning all three time frames to make sure that all three time frames candle is bullish. So let me go into the chart uh, to show you how do we do it. So over here we have a uh, euro dollar. Okay, so euro dollar was the trade that we sent in the Telegram group uh, this morning. So let's let's look at the weekly chart. Okay, I'll start off by uh, looking at the weekly chart. In this case, I will use the weekly, daily, and H4 uh, time frame combination. So ask yourself, is the weekly candle bullish now? The answer is yes, right? Because uh, the, the, the market just opened. Uh, the opening was at 1.18387 and price is at 1.18595 right now. So it's a bullish candle. In fact, uh, the previous week was also bullish. So you have a bullish candle. So uh, the weekly traders will be likely to be buying. So that's good. Now let's go into the daily candle. Same thing. The daily candle opened at uh, the same price as the weekly because today is Monday. So 1.18387 and it's trading at 1.1859. So again, the daily candle is bullish. And the previous day is bullish as well. That means that the daily traders are also buying. Okay, so move on to the H4 and you see that it's the same thing. You can see that uh, the H4 candle is also bullish. So this is how you combine uh, all three time frames. You are basically making sure that all three time frames are bullish or bearish depending on uh, uh, whether you're trying to buy or sell. The concept is the same. Look for all three time frames to be similar and then you enter a momentum trade. 
But again, I just have to caution you, uh, this is not a full, you know, step-by-step uh, -step trading strategy. So I'm not asking you to buy every time, uh, you know, every time you see that all three candles are bullish. That is not what I'm saying. So please uh, do not uh, misunderstand me. Please do not say, oh, you know, I watch your videos and you say, oh, weekly is bullish, daily is bullish, H4 is bullish, and you start buying. That's not the way to do it. I'm just saying that uh, you need to have a trading strategy in play. And if you want to get the best entry, meaning that you already know you want to buy after you've done your other form of analysis, such as, you know, your market uh, market condition, your the trend, you know, um, the price level and your triggers. Once you have done stuff like that and you're ready to enter and you want to enter at the right time with and find explosive trades, then you look at the weekly, daily and H4 to find the best time to enter. That's what I'm saying. Okay, if you need a trading strategy, our free day trading guide uh, has uh, all those good stuff uh, in, in it. So if you are new, just make sure you download it because really it's free and it's very, uh, it's very extensive. Whatever is covered in this guide is very extensive. So make sure you just get that. Okay, so just a, a quick recap about what I've covered today. So uh, I mentioned, started this video by talking about the problem, which is uh, a lot of you want to use multiple time frame analysis, but you guys are confused because um, the daily chart don't align with H4 or you know another time frame don't uh, align with another time frame. So you're a bit confused. So I gave you the solution. The solution is actually to stay out to wait. But if you really must trade, then stick to the higher time frame and look at the bigger patterns. So that's the two guidelines I have for you. Then I ended off this uh, video by telling you how to find the best momentum trades. Basically, you're looking for the weekly, daily, and H4 candles to uh, align. You do not need to use this time frame combination, but uh, the idea is the same. If you are using, let's say, the daily H4 and um, M15, then then you want to make sure that uh, you, you align these three time frames together at the same time in order to find the best momentum trades. Okay, so hopefully this video is helpful for you. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Okay, uh, make sure you subscribe because we have a lot of videos like this. Okay, I'll leave a link to uh, our multiple time frame analysis video at the top right. So make sure you check that out uh, after you watch this video. Okay, if not, thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video.